What's up guys, GPT-5 is out, everyone's talking about it, I'm sure you've seen videos on it, it's amazing, there's all these fantastic charts and stuff that say how amazing and awesome it is, I'm not going to go through any of it, the only thing that did grab my attention a little bit before we jump into this lovable test is this stuff here, where they've developed a, a few little apps, games if you like, and it says it's been done with one prompt, the one I think is really cool is this, why you build it I don't know, but... It's pretty cool, but let's get into the test. We're gonna build a one-page app. We're gonna clone something using Lovable without GPT-5, and then we're gonna build it with GPT-5 or in the reverse order, whatever. Anyway, let's get into it. Just over on the Lovable account here, until uh, it says something like 12 a.m. Pacific time on Sunday, August 10, it's gonna be available. So I thought I would do a test while it's available. So I'm going to do that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to clone this single page sort of web app which does a, a coin flip. So if you flip the coin you get a result. So I've got the prompt here. Can you clone this website? That's the website. I need a coin flip site as I and it needs to be as identical as possible. Same layout, same theme, animations, header, footer, about, FAQ and everything. So the first one we will do, we will use GPT-5, and then we're going to run it again just with GPT-5 off using whatever models were being used behind the scenes previously. And you can see the results. And in the testing I did yesterday, the difference is absolutely massive. Watch this. Okay, so this is the GPT-5 version. As you can see, it's looking very impressive. It is copied the functionality actually incredibly well. Do another flip. Okay, and you can see the count is working. It's even copied, you see random wheel, roll dice, teams, random numbers, wheel, dice, random teams, numbers. It's pretty impressive. How does it work? So it's taken us through how it works section. Now we've got virtual virtual coin, some other information here, whatever you are. No, and that was it. It actually stopped right here. There's nothing else. So it's got this first section right, but below down we've we've got nothing. We've got an FAQ. Does it do anything? Oh, it does take us to a separate page. Okay. And it's given it the name Flipster. All right, very cool. Now let's see what the previous version of Lovable without GPT-5, how it would actually generate this. So if I go back up to the top, I can copy the prompt we used. I'll go back to the dashboard. We'll paste this in, turn GPT-5 off and see what we get. Okay, it said it's cloned it. Let's take a look. It should render in a second. It seems to be more detailed anyway in what it says it has done. Okay, so we have something very similar. This is looking pretty good. Let's go down a little bit. So how does heads and tails work? Let's have a look here. How does it work? So it's actually copied the structure. If we go down, toss a virtual coin, toss a virtual coin. Easy and fast, free, keep track, always, log on, 100%. Easy, fast, free, keep track, always on, 100%. So it has absolutely cloned that as good as you could expect. The history of the coin toss. History of the coin toss. Check that out. Go down a bit further. Frequently asked questions. Do we have frequently asked questions? Oh, look at this. Frequently asked questions. Now, if we go down further... We have some affiliate staff, giveaways, links, all this type of thing. Giveaways, links, social shares. So here it is, right? GPT-5 generated just the header and stopped about here. 
with GPT-5 off using the previous version of however Lovable was using this, whichever LLMs and prompts, whatever it's using behind the scenes, it has built the perfect clone. So I don't know what's going on with GPT-5 with Lovable. I've had good, good testing on other areas using GPT-5, but specifically using this AI coder uh, for cloning websites, GPT-5 does not perform, which is not what you would expect. So hot tip, if you're going to build using Lovable, don't use GPT-5 until this gets sorted out because from what I can tell, you get much better results with it off. I hope you got a bit of value from this video. If you did, consider giving it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one.